Summer is seen as a peak season for foodborne illnesses. As such, persons are advised to take the necessary precautions to ensure their food is safe before consumption. TVJ's Shamela Pullen reports. The health report foodborne illnesses are infections or irritations of the gastrointestinal tract. This is an organ in the body that takes in food, digests it to extract and absorb energy and nutrients, then expels the remaining waste as feces. Family physician Dr. Winston Dawes says foodborne illnesses tend to increase during the summertime. Once you have warm weather and people don't take care of their food and, and its preparation, there is an increased risk. Now, um, the thing is this that the thing you may have is bacteria, viruses, or sometimes the toxins produced by them. And that is a big danger. Some common symptoms of foodborne illnesses include vomiting, diarrhea, or bloody diarrhea, abdominal pain, fever, and chills. You can have it where some of the toxins can be almost fatal, um, you know, clostridium. But by and large, most cases are mild. But people who are the elderly, Pregnant woman, and it's both herself and the fetus are at risk, uh, and young children, and those who are immu uh, immunocompromised. It can also lead to kidney and liver problems. Dr. Dawes cautions persons to be extremely careful, especially when consuming meats. We are in the slaughterhouse because of sometimes sloppy practices. You have fecal contamination of the meat, and you might not refrigerate it fast enough and it is not properly cooked so you have problems there. Now we must mention that most of the bacteria will find on the surface of the of the meat. So when you have minced meat there's a greater risk of contamination because each surface can be contaminated whereas the whole carcass will, uh, it will be most likely the outside. Overall it is important that you store, cook, clean and handle your foods properly. Most cases People don't need to go to the doctor, but the most important thing is to maintain hydration. So lots of water, possibly coconut water, rehydration fluid, etc. But if your temperature goes above 100 or you have really severe abdominal cramps and vomiting, especially vomiting blood or diarrhea, or you really feel ill, then it's better to go in and see a doctor. With your health report, I'm Shimela Pullen wishing you good health. The Health Report, 